Good morning. I'm sure a lot of you have an instant pot pressure cooker, but may not have used it on the slow cooker mode. So that's what I'm going to do today. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm setting up my dinner for tonight and I'm not going to use any fancy ingredients here. I'm going to use stuff that's already prepared, but I just wanted to show you how easy it is to use your um, slow cooker mode on the instant pot pressure cooker and maybe that would work for you too. So nothing fancy but an option for getting you a nice quick dinner on the table at the end of the day. I'm going to use a bag of frozen meatballs and for this I chose um, Wegmans Pulpetti. I think they're really great meatballs in taste. I'm going to use a jar of uh, Parmigiano Reggiano tomato sauce from Wegmans also and right in the same nature I'm using um, cheese ravioli arabiata flavor it's a little spicy it has spinach in it and um, it has some really spicy sauce so I like temper it a little bit with some of the regular tomato sauce and give it a little extra liquid to work with while it's cooking all day long so all I'm going to do is open up these bags and as you may know if you have one, we have a stainless steel vessel here inside the um, Instant Pot. This is really a great pressure cooker and a lot of times we forget to use it as a, as a um, slow cooker too. All I'm going to do is open up the bags and dump them in. Now the Pulpetti, they're rather large meatballs and I like them for slow cooker because then um, they stay intact and they're substantial meat when you get them out. Okay, then I'm going to add a little sauce to the bottom of the pan right off the, right off the top. Put that on the meatballs. And then open up the cheese ravioli. And now the flavoring in here, this is actually meant to be put in a frying pan. And it has like flavor nuggets. And as you take the ravioli into the frying pan and you and you cook it, the nuggets melt and that puts the spicy sauce on. You're actually supposed to do it on the stove top and it only takes about um, seven or eight minutes, eight minutes to prepare this. But in this case, we're gonna take the ravioli and the nuggets and put them in on top of the meatballs. flavors in the bottom of the bag. At the bottom of the bag there's um, spices and spinach. This, these are great flavors and you don't even have to prepare them. All right, let me get the other bag in here too. I usually put two bags of ravioli because they kind of get eaten right up when you take the lid off of this. Now you can see that all these flavors are, you know, these are going to become liquid too as they cook. And then I'm going to add all over the top the rest of this jar of sauce. And since we're doing slow cooking, I'm going to add a jar of water as well. All right, it looks like that. We're just going to put the lid on and let the Instant Pot do its work all day long. And we want to make sure that this is in the sealing mode rather than venting mode, just to keep the steam in there. All right, the next thing to do here is just press slow cooker. And I have already um, put it on eight hours, but you can change the number of hours, plus or minus. And it starts cooking. All right. Okay, we'll see you in the afternoon. Whoever gets here first can open the pot. I'm sure it'll be Rick. And we'll take a look inside and see how delicious it looks. Enjoy your day. So here's my supper. I see when I came home from work, this was like five and a half hours left. This is on slow cooker mode. And now it went to keep warm for two hours and 27 minutes. So that means I slept that long, which is good. 
I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to open it and see what I have for my supper or my breakfast. It's my breakfast at this time of the day. Ooh, that looks good. Mm, it smells spicy in there. What is it? Ravioli. And put some on my plate. Ooh, look at the sauce. Ravioli. Put on my plate. Mmm, green stuff. What do we got there? Ooh, look at the big, big meatball. Look at the big meatball. Ooh. Mmm, alright. Let me taste this. How does that look? Looks delicious to me. I have to taste it. Look at that ravioli. Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. That's that meatball. Mm, look at that. Mmm. Wow, what a good flavor. Mmm. Ooh. -wee. All right, that's another great way to use your instant pot if you have one. If not, I'm sure Kathy put a link down there in her description. You can get one. Slow cooker. I cooked all day long. All right, I'm going to enjoy this. I hope you have a nice day and a nice supper. Or whatever meal you're having at the time. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for making this for me. And thank you, Instant Pot. And thanks for watching. Bye.